So first of all, good evening, everyone, and welcome to this channel. And today we will discuss about the new topic in the C++ programming world. That is nothing. That is a generic function in the C++. That how can we write the first source code for the generic function in the C++? Okay, everyone. So I want to say you that what is a generic function. So in the previous video, I have to the detail everything about the generic functions. Okay. So generic function is nothing but a generic means what? What is the meaning of the generic? Generic means which of the universal function. Okay. So that is also just like a universal function. You can say because here if we are going to the use the uh, generic functions, generic functions in our program at that time what will happen we will we can create the data as types for the generic means i want to say you that if we are going to the use the generic function in our program at that time we can create the different different generic data types you can say okay that one is a here we have the t1 t1 is nothing but t1 is a just like a generic data type you can say what is the meaning of the generic data type generic data type you can say that is a universal data type which data type may can handle all these types of the problems means i want to say that if you will pass the argument here uh, for this function at a time that one will be handle any type of the okay so that is the meaning of the generic function okay so in the generic function why we are going to the use so many reasons here that that that's provide the generic generic data types okay that is a you can say that is a placeholder you can say that one is a t1 is a placeholder here okay so i want to say you that if you have the one generic here we have the one generic data types okay so we can't use the different different we can't pass the different different types of the data type from the main function in the main function to that function okay i want to say you okay so here we should have to the pass the same type of the parameters that is a value here we have the okay so that one is the formal parameter we have the and here we have the actual parameter so 2 and 3 will be passed here and then t1 and t2 will be handled t1 will be handled to all these things because 2 and 3 is the integer type of the data and t1 is about t1 is the universal type of the data type that one suppose uh, in the previous in the sometimes before we have to the use the white white phone one that is a method name okay and then we have to the use the int x and then int y etc so on okay but here we have to the use only and only one universal only one universal data type that one is a t1 okay so use the help of the type name we can create the okay we can create the universal data type and then with the help of that we can we can declare here okay so i have to the say to everything about that what is the mean by the universal or generic data types okay so here we have to the pass the we can also pass the different different parameter here but here we have the only one universal data type that handle can only handle at a time only one same type of the data okay yes so here we are going to see that what will be uh, what will be the output so suppose uh, i want to say you that template is what template is a predefined class you can say that that is a uh, used to the create the uh, generic functions in our program okay so here we can give the void void and then function name that is a void and then function name and then we have the formal parameters okay so formal parameters is here and the for the creating the parameters that is the generic types of the parameters generic types of the data types we are going to the use the this template that is a class you can say of the predefined class of the c plus plus and the type name is the predefined okay keyboard which used to create the generic data types okay so t1 will be handle the any types of the okay data so here we are passing the two and three at a time what will be happen we will see that that one will print the uh, that one here will be print the value of the x and y 
so because the x is what x is a variable y is what y is also one variable so variable will be a store the value whatever we are going to the sending from here okay so after all this after that what will be happen that one will be executed that one will be print here okay so again we are going to the again we are going to the pass the value that is a, a string we are if you ever want to pass okay so i did not what will be when we are going to the see here okay so i am just passing it hi i am ritesh okay at that time what will happen we are going to the see here so hi i am ritesh so at that time we are going to the see that what will be happen so let's check it so first of all we are going to the compile and then we are going to the run this source code so we can say that we have the data that one is a two and three for the first argument pass and the, and then we have the second argument we have to the pass that hi hi i am and then we have to the pass the ritesh so we can see that we we can that uh, that types of the generic data types can handle any types of the data okay suppose we are going to the passing the different types of the data is that one may be the float types of the data okay so we can see here that we are going to the passing the floating type that one is 2.5 and the 3.46 okay and then what will be print we are going to the c here we can see that that one will print the value of the 2.5 and 3.6 here you can see here that we have to the got it the value of the 2.5 and the 3.6 okay so that is the generic functions and the generic function is creating through the this template class and the keyword that is a type name and then we are going to the we are going to the create the generic data type that is the here okay so that is the syntax of creating the any type of the generic function generic function uh, generic functions you can say here that that function will be called the generic functions with the help of the template we are going to the create and that data type means whatever we are going to the create uh, the data types that is a generic data type will be called means i want to save that with the help of the generic data type we are going to the create data type that data type will be called the generic data type okay we want so i hope that we have to the understanding that what i may want to say you okay so i hope that uh, you have to the done all these things here so let's I have to thus give you a result here that two, three, and then I am I'm with this, and then the third output is here. Okay, so I hope that you have to the got it. But let's I want to arrange this because I hope that uh, some maybe you will get some little little bit problems. So let's I want to end L and then we are going to the compile and the run. Okay. So two and three of the first value, first passing, okay, and then second passing value is the high I am, and then it is, and then we have to the third time we have to pass the x for the two point five and the three point six for the that, okay. Suppose we are going to be passing the different different types of the data type, but the time what will be from. I I want to say you that suppose we are going to the passing the different different type of the value at a time what will be happen we are going to the see in this video okay in this another time okay so let's check this C out and then end L and then we are going to the C that what will be happen so let's so and then we are going to the value the passing that three point six and then we are going to the pass the five or six okay so let's then we are going to the compile error. Okay, so no missing function for the call to show. Okay, because the main reason is here that 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 one will be handle the same type of the same type of the data types. No, that we can't use the different different types of the data types. Okay, here we have to the get one error that no missing function for call to show. No missing function. No missing function to call to show means what is the meaning of that? No missing function because. Function is not matching there, okay? Because the function is only and only for the integer data, not for the different different type of data. Here we can't uh, send the floating point, okay? Because that one will be the only uh, work same as, okay? Yes. So if you are going to the pass the different different data, that time we will get the compile time error, okay? Everyone, so I hope that you have to understand that what is the point about the generic function, uh, generic data types, and it is so on about all these things, their parts, okay? So let's why meet you again and again. But before that, I want to say you something that if you have any question, you can ask with the help of the description box, okay? Everyone, so let's meet you again and again. 
लेट्स बाय